work yesterday, but today was the first day that I had to actually show up in person. The first day that I've actually, you know, worn a blazer, worn nice clothes, you know, going to the office. My husband was home with the two girls. I mean, it wasn't a full day, but it was a good chunk of the day. Um, so hopefully that went well. We'll see when I get home. I just called him. He said that um, the oldest is sleeping and the youngest is okay, whatever that means. Well, I'm going to go home. I'm hungry. I'm going to make a salad. Haven't been eating meat a lot. Have I had meat today? No, I didn't have meat yesterday. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home make a salad and I have a meeting at 4 to 4 30. That's just gonna be virtual and Then we'll see what the rest of the day is gonna be like. Hopefully just relaxing. I'm loving how my hair came out I was gonna do kind of like a big kind of um, Like chunky hairstyle, but I Felt like it was going to be perceived as unkept because it was like kind of curly wavy puffy real diana ross vibes real cute right i'm like but i'm going to the office today let me just tame it and just do kind of like a half up half down kind of thing so it came out crude cute real cute i'm happy with it i might leave it for the rest of the day so uh yeah that's what's going on gonna make a salad and these brownies because you know balance hey y'all it is way later from the last time you guys saw me. I got home, made some lunch, had a meeting, and then started feeling really sick. I've had a headache all day, and it kind of just got worse as the day progressed. Um, so when I hit like five o'clock, I was like done. The headache was so intense, I started to feel nauseous. So I took some medicine and had to take a quick nap. I think it's just lack of sleep with, you know, both girls and starting work back and um, just finding time to, like, record and edit more videos for this channel. I've just been trying to fit a lot into the day. So I'm going to just try to relax tonight. My husband's putting Yanis to sleep. I have Nakoa. Just going to chill out with her a little bit before she heads down for the night. Going to watch some of my fave YouTubers. I also want to do some meal planning. So I want to just look up some like toddler meal ideas because I'm tired of feeding Yanni's the same thing. She can't eat mac and cheese every day. My husband's a vegetarian. Yanni's also is. I don't know how much longer that'll last, but we haven't given her meat. She's never had meat. And um, I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't have meat with every meal. It's more like a couple times a week, not a couple times a day. So um, I just need to get some meal ideas. I'm really like craving like potato soup. And that's something that um, my husband will also eat. As far as Yanni's, I'm not <coughs> sure. Bless you. Bless you. Um, I don't know if she, I mean, I guess she can have the ingredients of the soup. It's just like. Um, potatoes, obviously, celery, carrots, and some other stuff. So I think she can have the ingredients of that, maybe, but I don't know. We'll see. So if I find some great, like, toddler ideas, I mean, toddler food ideas, I will let you guys know. And I'll show you which, uh, YouTubers I'm watching tonight. Up first is Miss Bossy with Bossy's Life. Love her. I'm good to you, Daddy. Bossy got these three girls. So her three oldest children are girls and her three youngest are boys. Every time I see her with her daughters, I'm like, yep, that's going to be me. They're always talking about like hair, mainly just hair because Bossy does hair. And, I, and one of her daughters, um, her middle girl of the three does hair. But I feel like that's going to be me and Yanni and Coco just like, I imagine like hair appointments, hair conversations, nail appointments, making them for them too. It's so fun having girls. I know 
all that comes with it the rest of it as far as everyone's like girls oh my gosh so emotional boys are fight over clothes makeup all that that just doesn't sound i don't know it doesn't sound daunting to me i don't know if it's because i've worked with teenage girls and like teenage girls who have had like trouble in life and so that's kind of just what i'm used to that was always like my thing all my supervisors would give me uh the teenage girls i'm a social worker for those of you who don't know but all the clients that would come in um no one wanted the teenage girls because it came with a lot but i wanted them so yeah i like having girls i like being a girl mom next paige danielle Y'all, she's almost at 100K on YouTube, so please go follow her and tell her Life with Lakeitra sent you. I love her. Ooh, y'all, Mama Shern is in this episode with her in this video. That's Paige's mama, Mila's grandmama. She has a cute new haircut that Paige did. Again, that's another mommy daughter relationship that i imagine i hope that me and my girls will have when they're older because it looks like paige likes to hang out with her mom and they are like so cute together they have so much fun they're always laughing i love it sarah ray vargas been following her for a while i love her as well all right, y'all, I'm going to put on my bonnet and head to bed. I said I would go to bed a little early tonight just to get some rest, and it's after midnight. It's like 12.30. But the nap that I took was short, but it was like very rejuvenating. I guess it was just, I just needed a tad bit more rest. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm sure Nicole will be waking me up in about two or three hours, so. Gonna get some sleep in before that happens and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is the next day and I've already gotten a start on the day. I made breakfast, I've done a little bit of work. So now I'm about to get in the shower, go to the office for a little bit and then make a stop at the store for some grocery shopping and then I'll come back home. For breakfast, I made egg, spinach and cheese sandwiches. Um, so I gave that to my husband. He liked it because um, I don't know if I said before or I did that he's a vegetarian, but um, I also gave it to my daughter, my one year old. I just cut it in half and then I gave her one half and then I ate the other half and she had some strawberries with that. So that was a different breakfast than she was used to, but she liked it. So I was glad. When I'm in the car, if I'm not listening to music, I'm listening to podcasts. And the podcast I'm listening to now is a podcast called Motherhood from Scratch. It is a podcast by two black Christian mothers, wives, who homeschool their children. Between the two of them, they have nine children. And one of them, Stephanie, is actually like my friend in real life. Like I, I know her, we've done life together um, when I lived in Cincinnati. Um, we went to the same church, same small group, texting each other, sending I'm pregnant text messages <laughs> to each other, um, help me, motherhood is ghetto, uh, <laughs> text messages to each other. Um, so I'm just happy to have content by people that I feel like I can relate to um, on a more personal level. I am not interested in homeschooling, but I think it's very interesting and I'm learning a lot. And maybe if my life was different, I would. I don't know. I'm just enjoying being able to hear from like-minded people in terms of everything else. You know, mother, wife, Christian, black, that kind of thing. Let me just talk real quick about how I feel like white YouTubers, some famous big names, have just been letting their black followers down over the summer you know we definitely was looking at who was saying stuff but also looking at who wasn't saying anything you know and I was so disappointed because 
you know, you watch their videos, you support their campaigns, you buy their merch, and then there'll be clear, big world stuff happening. And they will just be like, yeah, so I did some laundry today. And you're like, do you not know what's happening? Like, I guarantee you if police were shooting blonde haired, blue eyed people, like walking around finding blonde haired, blue eyed people to shoot, I guarantee you they would have all types of campaigns and things up on their pages. Um, but because it doesn't affect them personally, they are not black, they don't have black children, they don't have black spouses, like they just never said anything. But they had black supporters and I just was like, y'all are not going to say anything? Um, people like Aaron Williams, Liza Adele, like I loved them. I loved Aaron, right? But I was just like, you're not going to say anything? Really? And then people were asking her to say stuff. And so she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. I guess she felt pressured. Even when she addressed it, it was like, I just don't know what to say. Yeah, I just don't know what to say. Just say you're sorry. Say, like, say anything. Say something, you know? So since then, I have followed her, Liza Dell. Didn't know that Erin Williams was the girl on, on Big Brother, I guess, years and years and years ago, who had made some racist comments. And, you know, that clip resurfaced because, you know, that stuff gets found. And I watched it, and I was just like, Ugh. So Erin has since been replaced by Paige Danielle. The only, like, big YouTuber that I really feel like has said anything, and I don't know if other people consider her big, but um, Amy, she's Water's wife. She's another one of my fave YouTubers. She always has spoken out, like on her channels. She's always said things, made whole videos about, um, you know, how the hypocrisy is wrong. And uh, there are riots, or no, there weren't riots. There were like protests um, where she lives and she would, you know, drive around and like support the protesters. She's the only one that's spoken out. And just recently, her last video, I mean, even in my comment, I was like, it's the passion for me. Like she was so frustrated. She was like, you know your favorite YouTubers are out here saying stuff or not saying stuff. And if they do, it's because they feel pressured. It's like, speak up. Why aren't y'all saying anything? Speak up. At one point in her video, she was like, um, basically you need to unfollow me. If this makes you mad, unfollow me now. Like you should have unfollowed me a while ago, actually. So shout out to her. I've, I mean, that's not why I started following her. I was following her like way back. She's also um, a mom who has two kids. Her first child, Beckett, um, was stillborn. And that's kind of how I found her channel. It was recommended to me on YouTube and I've just been watching her ever since. Um, I love her. She's another great YouTuber. So for a late dinner, Yanni's had tater tots, raspberries, and avocado. I don't know if this is normal because Yanni's is my first child. She eats her food to the point of like it's almost mush, like pureed almost, and then she spits it out. This is new. This is new. She wasn't always like that. Some of it she swallows, but some of it she sticks her tongue out and like spits it out after she's already chewed it a thousand times. It's very frustrating. Y'all, I hate grocery shopping. I hate scavenger hunts and I feel like grocery shopping is like a scavenger hunt. I feel like I'm just going to do like curbside pickup or grocery delivery from now on because <sighs> hate going grocery shopping fighting the crowds, not crowds, but you know, fighting the people, they don't know, cart etiquette, putting their cart one place and walking 10 feet away. Like it's just so annoying. One thing I did like though, is the meals that I found, like the ideas for meals that I found um, that I'm gonna make the next week. I feel like the ingredients all like go together. Like, you know how you buy food and it's like for one meal? I feel like I bought food that goes with like at least two or more meals. So I like that I can, you know, reuse it. I'll let you guys know um, what meals those are later. I gotta get these girls settled. All right, both girls have gotten their baths and it is time to get them to sleep. Yanis is boycotting sleep with my husband, so I am going to put her to sleep. 
usually just means that she just wants me to cuddle her. She's been more of a mama's girl lately. Um, so as soon as I lay down and like cuddle her against my boob, she'll fall asleep. She was that way. She's been that way since she's been born. She likes the warmth and my husband always says, I don't have boobs. So that's why she's not as comfortable. Or like with Nikoa, he'll say like, I don't have I don't have the boobs, I'm sorry. You're not gonna be as comfortable on my chest. So I'm gonna go uh, hope they won't be like wrestling her to sleep. I just wanted to show you guys this dress. Am I the only one who will buy a dress even if it's a tad bit too big just because you love it that much? Um, let me try and show you like the full length of this dress. All right, so this is what I mean by it's like a little too big. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like a little bit tighter here because you, you kind of have that like extra, it's not supposed to be loose in here. It's supposed to be tighter. It kind of like falls and it doesn't stay tight like this. Um, but I got it from Boohoo and you know, leopard is like one of my favorite things to wear and to like, like one of my favorite prints, period. So um, it has this little like tie here that you, it's like a false belt because it doesn't go all the way around. It's just here. Um, but this cinches in your waist here. Um, it's supposed to cinch in more. Like I said, it's a little big. I love the arms because I don't have to worry about my arms not fitting. It has elastic here. Um, so it comes in. This cami underneath did not come with it. I put this underneath it because it would obviously just be too much for me at least if it wasn't. But yeah, I love this dress. It's so cute. I love leopard and I love the colors that were in it. Um, I would wear this lip color. And um, this is actually like a pale blush pink here. Um, if we weren't wearing masks, now it doesn't even matter. I don't even wear makeup to work anymore. Like the way my hair came out, I separated it again and um, I didn't really see a lot of people in the office today. So I just wore it like this and I'll be wearing it like this more often. And if anybody thinks it's unkept, Whatever, this is basically how it grows out of our head, right? It's stretched, but you, you get the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I will see you guys in the next one, which should be soon. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Hopefully this will be up before then and you'll see it on that day. If you made it all the way to the end, give me some pink hearts in the comments and I will see you all next time.